Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 Online. Powered by Twitch, I am the Kyle Thomas. Hello again. So good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful night with us. We have got so many more great runs coming up. And we have so many great donations that have come in, including $15 from Trinitronitree. Hope I did that one right. They say, of course I got to donate for this. That nice Evolutions umbrella is simply a bonus at this point. Also, adding to the Portal 2 incentive because, come on, it's Portal 2. Thank you so much for that donation, and that brings up a great point. We have so many different challenges and incentives to donate to, so if you're donating to Prevent Cancer Foundation, make sure you're picking something to go to, just like that Portal bonus game. We're at 23000 out of 80000 to extend GDQ even longer. We've got all kinds of showcases available. We're just over $100 away from the Void Flush Showcase for Cultic. We've got 20000 or so left for the Yakuza Kiwami Super Boss Showcase. So make sure you're getting those donations in to get in towards those prizes and pick those challenges. We got a $50 donation that came in from Ash Carp. They say, have to drop some support before I go to work. Good luck to all the runners today. Thank you, Ash Carp. And, you know, have a good shift. And maybe, you know, if you can pull up GDQ at work, I'm not going to tell anybody. And we had $50 come in from Madman and Mauve. They say, barely getting started and I'm already losing sleep. Keep it up. Cheers to the runners, couch, guest, commentators, and all the staff in the background making this possible. Thank you so much for your generous donations. And I have got word that we are ready for our next run. So Aggie to Aaron, take it away with Dust and Elysian Tail. Hello everyone, I am Aggie. And I am here to run Dust and Elysian Tail any percent what for you today. And I would like to introduce my wonderful commentator, Catlick. Would you like to introduce yourself a little bit? Sure thing. Hello, everybody. I don't exactly run this game, but I'm very excited to watch Aggie here kick butt at this run. It is an absolutely wild run. You're in for a ride. <laughs> yeah, so while we watch the intro cutscene, we'll, I'll explain a little bit about the game and the run. So the timer won't start oh, until I skip the uh, Dust Awakening cutscene. So welcome, this is Dust and Lysian Tail. This game initially released in 2012 on Xbox Live Arcade by the solo dev Dean Dodd. This game was later ported to PC in 2013, leading to the most, well, the biggest glitch you will see in during this run, known as warping. For some reason, or another, we've, the port able, was basically made it so you could use your mouse during in the map select screen, which allows for some incredibly nutty th things to bear your witness later on in the run. Yeah, it basically allows you to skip almost like entire levels. It's pretty wild of a skip to have in a game like this. But yes. super cool. So time will start in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Okay. So we're going right away with rocket jumps. Would you like to explain a bit about rocket jumps, Kat? Sure. Uh, rocket jumping is essentially doing a certain combo and then canceling out of it with a jump slash, which gives a lot more momentum moving forward. The walk speed in this game is pretty slow in comparison, uh, but this trick saves about like five seconds at the start of the run. It's pretty precise on timing, but super, super cool. Yeah, and we're pretty much done with seeing that bit of tech for the rest of the run. And we're going to go straight into Something called Deer Skip. Now, because of the specific uh, combo you're seeing, Dust doesn't lose very much height whatsoever, and combine that with slashing into the room transition, and you basically skip a, uh, cut, uh, a cutscene, which leads into a forced fight. And skipping that saves about 10 seconds. 
Sorry. Unfortunately, there is. Oh. Would you mind explaining the dust storm cutscene skip real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, cutscene skip, cutscene skip. So basically, uh, this is a frame perfect skip, uh, especially on 60 FPS. Uh, you need to click out of the game on a frame, the cutscene would start, and that would allow you to skip the cutscene. It's super difficult to do, but always really great when you get it. <laughs> yeah. So, now, back to very... So, the movement you're seeing right now is called ground dodge cancelling. It's also a frame perfect trick. Now you basically can cancel the animation of your dodge to basically dodge indefinitely. Combine that with the fact that we're running on the casual difficulty. Oh, I need more HP here. There you go. Which gives us basically near infinite stamina. So. Okay, we got some zigzags going on here. We're going to collect those wall chickens and those keys because later on we're going to need items called teleport stones, which are vital for the run. So Aggie's trying to take as little damage as possible because if you do take damage uh, and you're not full health, the game will automatically use items. Uh, and obviously we don't want to do that. And we also need to make sure we have enough money for the item shop glitch coming up. Wow. Cool. So now we just got an ability called Aerial Dust Storm. That ability has two very important functions for us. One of which is uh, aerial dodge cancelling. Very similar to ground dodge cancelling, but instead it's going to be our fastest form of aerial travel right now. And the second is going to be rising dust storm. So using two slashes and Oh, yeah. Doing it in a rhythm of air two slashes and an aerial dust storm means that dust will effectively just fly. Yeah, it gives like an infinite amount of height, which is pretty yeah. wild. <laughs> yes. And you're going to see one of the uses for that right now. So. Look at you go! Whee! <laughs> underneath that area is two older folk that have been... Yeah, there's giants that are harassing them and... So, no, I'm sorry, we're doing a speed run here, we need, we need to go. Sorry, I gotta go, I have, a, I have an appointment. <laughs> yeah, I've got doctor's appointment, you know, it's, it's really urgent. But best of luck it's, on that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, sh I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, surely. And, and now we are in Aurora Village. This is the main hub world of the of the game. We're only going to be here twice. One, right now, for a little bit of shopping, and right at the end of the run. Yes. Yeah, we're about to do a little bit of shopping. And I would like to do, explain the negative shop money glitch. Sure thing. Uh, so basically, you need to uh, frame perfect change the item when uh, you're buying to trick the game into selling you an item for far less money. This is where we would get the teleport stone. So being able to get that item very early is kind of broken. Um, and you'll see why later. But yeah, it's really cool. Yep. I really the game want that shows item. us that we have negative money. Yeah. Hey, you're the outsider. I, got I really want this item, but actually, I kind of want that item. <laughs> cool. So now you're going to see warping. Absolutely and utterly not. So we could absolutely skip this area if we wanted to, but we're going to, you know, go for one specific item. Because this game well, is, uh, oh, I'm gonna keep going. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so since this game is kind of like a Metroidvania game, uh, a lot of items are usually kind of locked away in certain places where you wouldn't necessarily be able to get it till later on in the game. 
So Aggie is doing um, the rising dust storm, I believe. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, to get back up on top of the wall up there to get to the chest, and that allows us to get flash seed, which basically raises the attack power from like four to 154, and we would be using that for the entirety of the run. So normally, when normally you'd need something like a, like an iron grip or a climb ability to be able to you know get that item, but you know you don't really need it here since we can rising dust storm and effectively fly our way up. Yep, <laughs> it's a very very hard strat to do to get up there too. Mm -hmm. Like I, I wouldn't even try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one of the harder points in the run. So. What happened there was a cutscene skip. So, what happens when dust levels up is dust has a little bit of. takes a little bit of knockback. And so, if you level up right as you enter, the, enter that uh, panorama cutscene, dust will be pushed back into the previous room, basically just cancelling out that cutscene altogether. Who wants to watch uh, so. the cutscene? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, so there's some rooms in this game that you can't walk to directly. However, we're going to do something called exit walking instead to get around that. Basically, the room, basically, when you're walking from an exit, the game just sets you in that location instead of where you'd normally go. So. It leads to being able to walk directly into rooms that you'd normally not be able to. Like this one. That one you just saw. Nice. Very and nice. We're going to do that once more. So one more head time into for our the top. first. Yes. <laughs> we're going to head right into our first boss fight of the game. Known yeah. as Lady Pethys. I'll go ahead and explain if you'd like. Yes, that'd sure. be great. Awesome. So we basically start by doing an AI manip to get her to move where we want her to, and then we begin to crouch slag or zigzag as they call it. Uh, we need to do uh, need to stop at around fifteen attacks, otherwise she will break out and cause problems. But there were no problems, and that's that. <laughs> yeah. Clean. Lady Tethys was just so enamored by our breakdancing skills. She was very impressed. <laughs> and yeah, that is yeah. another cutscene skip. Very similar to the one earlier. Instead, we're just kind of moving back into the previous room as we, en as we enter the loading zone. So right now is a good time for a couple of donations, if you have any. Oh, we have a lot. You have had a lot of love come in for this, including $20 from Sand Shark, who says, Let's go, Aggie. So happy to see you run this gem of a game at GDQ. Keep up the incredible work. Thank you. And we had $25 from Monev that says, I played Dust and Elysian Tale back when it launched on PC. I loved the smooth movement and combat combos. I'm super happy to see people speed running it at 20 at 2023, especially at AGDQ. Thank you so much for those donations. Hey, you've got time for about one more dinner. Sounds great. Uh, we've got $25 from Cayman Went, who says, have to donate during the run of one of my favorite indie games of all time. Good luck, Aggie. Thank you so much. Thank you. So right now, we are about, we're going to head to a spooky, scary place called... Uh, Oh, that didn't quite work. Oh, try again. Let's try again. Yeah, one more time. That that enemy was being mean. <laughs> being a bully. Yeah. That's okay. You took care of him. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be heading to a super spooky place. Spooky mansions. Super spooky mansions. With ghosts and zombies. Um, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and since we're so good at mind, re reading minds, we're going to, you know, there's one person who who wants to get some heirlooms back. So, we go, so we're going to ransack, ransack a few mansions for her. 
you know, you know, you know, they, these these people these people aren't using using these aliens, right? No, 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 no. They haven't even cleaned up the place. So surely they wouldn't mind. Yeah, they wouldn't even notice them go missing. Exactly. If anything, we're helping them out by cleaning the place. <laughs> yeah, and so this chapter has a lot of very satisfying movement, a lot of slide boosts, a lot, a lot of aerial dust storms. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's one of my favorite areas of the game for city runs. It's because of how much precise movement there is. Yeah, the movement in this game involves a lot of button pressing, so yes. pretty impressive run. Ah, so one thing that's really interesting is if we didn't have to, you know, go through those tight spaces, basically have to slide through those holes in these mansions, we could skip the slide ability entirely, but because of this area, we can't. We have to get it. And so we just got the ability called Climb, which also is, well, that one we can skip entirely. So that's, we're going to do something called Jump Warping. So what normally would happen is the game would warp you to the bottom corner of whichever screen you're warping to. In some specific rooms, if you do that, you'll just be in the void indefinitely. So that so that one, for example, you need height. Otherwise, you know, drifting in the void is not fun. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, even uh, doing any sort of warping can lead to getting stuck in some places, which is obviously not ideal, but... Yep. I think we're getting through this pretty good. Worst case scenario is the game crashes. Oh! <laughs> Definitely uh, don't want because, that. Yeah, that happens because we're trying to walk to a room that doesn't exist. And that just causes a lot of mayhem. So, we've, now we've successfully ransacked three of the four mansions. Right. This, this last mansion is a little bit special. Yeah. And that we have to do a little bit of, you know... Yeah. We have to do a little bit of house cleaning for them. A little bit. Yeah. You know, there's this, there's this power in front. If we try to exit without, with, without blowing it up first or getting rid of it, we can't leave, ever. Yeah, you're just stuck it's unfortunate. in there. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. You're not leaving. You stole too much stuff. Get out of here. Oh, wait, no. Stay in here. <laughs> stay in. You're now in jail. Yep. <laughs> mm. uh, let's see. Please. Oh, I've almost oh. got Yeah, so That's this game ridiculous. doesn't allow you... That yeah, particular really screen is like really leave. nasty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. yeah. So, when there's enemies right near the right near the edge of the screen, in a typical fashion, like Metroidvania fashion, this game is like, no, you can't leave. Sorry, you need you need to kill the enemies that are, that are here. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain, but eh, we make do. And now we have all four of the items we need. We got, we're going to talk to the. We're going to talk to, to this particular uh, fellow. And you know, it's, you got it. Ah, oh. uh, come on. You got. There it. we go. There it is. All right. All right. So we're gonna be doing a boss fight here. Uh, spooky, so essentially, scary yeah, spooky, scary skeletons. So what Aggie's going to be doing here is a lot of zigzags, a lot of going back and forth. And if you see the swing, a swing of the arm, Aggie's going to pause on the right moment. So that way the swing effectively does no damage. 
And that's basically the boss fight. You just keep doing that over and over and over again. The swing, unfortunately, is a little bit of an inconvenience, but... Oh! Okay. Oh, no. We got an extra life. It's fine. <laughs> so we're going to be switching to casual, or sorry, to normal, because there are gems that we get in the game, and when you get the gems on casual, it will automatically put those gems into your stats wherever it feels like. Essentially a balanced stat. So going to normal gets and stops that from happening. I am actually thankful I died oh, right there when I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's no fun if you die right at the end of the fight. Uh, right. So you'll you'll see a base of a mountain right now. You're not you're not going to see the entirety of this mountain whatsoever. Oh, we're at the bottom of the mountain. I want to go to the top of the mountain. Can we go there? Yep. Look, just oh, just yay. give us a you know a couple of seconds. <gasps> Boom. We you, made you it. You get to see the peak of the mountain. We did it. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing skip. You basically skipped the entirety of chapter four. <laughs> doing that. Yeah. And, you know, there's going to be a couple people they, they just kind of out of nowhere trying to talk to us. I guess, I guess there are debt collectors, you know. You know, yeah. we've been in debt since the start of the run. I, I guess it's fair that they get their money back. Yeah, I guess so, even though we have negative money. <laughs> mm. Yeah. I, I guess they'll have to go somewhere else for their money. I guess so. All right. Oh. Oh. So we're going to do another uh, cutscene skip, but this time with Gihon. So, an interesting thing with when you talk to NPCs for the first time is all of them will give you experience. Oh, I didn't even I didn't get it. What a shame. That's okay. It's fine. But so, every single NPC in the game, when you talk to them, will give you experience. That combines with the text storage. Okay, that means that you would normally skip the cutscene. I somehow still got the experience, which is... We take okay. those. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, we specifically talk to that NPC so he can level up. And... Yeah. And place those uh, gems. Yeah. And now we're up to the final boss. Yes, so... This boss, we want to keep him in a loop. So essentially, we want to slam him down, he goes there, and we keep doing that over and over and over again until the boss fight is over. However, there are... Um, there are some problems with this boss where he likes to parry sometimes. Uh, and that can cause some problems. So, so far, he's being good. Being very kind for us. Like, yeah. Gaius, Gaius knows that he's on a really big stage. This doesn't, this doesn't want to be a me. Exactly. It's like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta let you look good. Here you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. and no, so, you're doing it. And, yeah, and since we mentioned the word parry, it's like, parry? That's parry. What's a parry? <laughs> oh, oh. Almost there. There we go. Come on. Oh. Oop. Oh, that's okay. Ah, so, one interesting fact. Um, poison just does one damage per second no matter what. Isn't it doesn't great. scale at all. One, one, one. One damage, 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 oh. damage. <laughs> uh, so time is about to come up. It's when ah uh, wait. Yeah, it's when the screen turns to white after. Did I screw up? And... Oh no! Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! I, what happened? Uh, I selected uh... the wrong save file. Oh no! General God. <laughs> oh. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> basically, what happens is we have to redo the fight. 
Oh. There is nothing else we can do. Oh, no. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. Oh, of course, marathon luck. It's bound to happen. That's yep. okay. We just get to watch an awesome boss fight once again. Yep. Uh, so if you've got time for a couple of journeys, now's a good time for them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got $25 from Silver Moonlight, who says, best of luck on your run, Aggie. And we've got $50 from Atreus, who says, good luck on the run, Aggie. Thanks for running one of my most favorite games. Massive hype for AGDQ 2023. Thank you, everyone, for everything. Thank you both for those donations. And we've got $250 from Devin Mack, who says, Dust was a life changing game for everyone involved with its creation 11 years ago. I'm overjoyed to see it here and kudos to everyone at AGDQ for your amazing work. Thank you so much for the $250 donation. It's awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, everybody. Yes, thank you very much. So one thing that you might notice is this boss music is incredibly serene. Almost too much too so serene. Hmm. yeah <laughs> well this music isn't the final boss music whatsoever for anyone who's played this game before you might recognize this music as the map select music uh, it's because of the glitch save isn't it <laughs> yes ah. so the final boss music is very, very different to this. And this time, guys is yeah, doing pretty okay. I thought this boss fight was just supposed to be a peaceful one or something. Yeah, <laughs> I thought so too. <laughs> one other fun thing is, since we've skipped the first three phases of this fight, the enemies that are meant to spawn in the first few phases are still here. They're just invisible and so we, we as dust can't interact with them but Gaius with the orbs still interacts with those enemies and kills them so random sometimes you'll see random drops just on the floor that's from those enemies specifically sweet ghost drops <laughs> I love those I love them <laughs> there we go all right Let's try not to pick the wrong save this time. I believe in you. <laughs> Here we go! Time! Time! Yay! We did it! You did it! Let's First go. try! <laughs> First try every time. <laughs> uh, thank you so very thank you so very much for AGDQ for having me on. Uh, I'd like to give shout outs to the entire Dust community. They are such an amazing group of people. I, I love them so much. Uh, yeah. They are very helpful. If anyone wants to learn the run, talk about DOS in general. Uh, so if anyone, anyone wants to learn the run, learn more about the run, there is a Discord server on the speedrun.com page. It's a really good time. And I would absolutely love it if more people wanted to pick up the game. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Aggie, for having me on for commentary. It's always a joy to commentate Dust. Uh, it's such a cool game. And like Aggie said, y'all should go check out the Discord, join the community. Uh, it just seems like such a wholesome group of people. But uh, also, go give Aggie love. We love to give Aggie love. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. All right, chat, give it up for Aggie and that awesome run and the bonus double boss fight at the end. You love to see that bonus content. We had a lot of love coming in during that lot of Dust fans out there, which is so fun to see, including this $15 donation from Lit Wolf, who says, have to donate during the run of my best friend's favorite game. He's not able to watch, so I'm here to show support for him. Thank you, everyone involved in organizing this event, which supports such an important cause. Live Wolf, thank you so much for that donation. We have got more great games coming up right after this little break. 
Stick around. Welcome back, everyone, to AGDQ 2023 online. Hi. How are we feeling after that awesome dust run? It was so great to see all that crazy movement. It was just gorgeous. I love seeing it. Love seeing the donations come in, including this $100 donation from Crypt Earth, who says, Dust, along with Fez and Hob, is on my top 10 all time since I first played it back when it was released for PC. Love to see it on the big stage and how broken it can be. I'm just watching it with a what on my face. Can't wait for the sequel to continue the story. Oh, and as always, greetings from Germany. Thank you so much for that donation, Crypt Earth. Really appreciate it. All of it going towards a fantastic cause with the Prevent Cancer Foundation. Just a little bit about them in case you don't know that much. The Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985, is a U.S.-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across 